वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट माय डियर स्टूडेंट इफ आई वांट दिस पेन टू रीच टू द स्टूडेंट हु इज सिटिंग ऑन द लास्ट बेंच एंड इफ आई गिव दिस पेन टू द स्टूडेंट हु इज सिटिंग ऑन द फर्स्ट बेंच एंड इफ द स्टूडेंट स्टैंड अप फ्रॉम हिज प्लेस move to the last bench hand over this pen to the student who is sitting on the last bench and come back and sit on the first bench of the row then my dear student here you will see that this pen has reached to the student who is sitting on the last bench of the column my dear student here there is transfer of pen from the student who was sitting on the first bench of a column to the student who was sitting on the last bench of the same column my dear student here we have noticed one thing the student himself carried the pen from the first bench to the last bench and ultimately this pen reach to the student who is sitting on the last bench my dear student again one more activity we are going to consider my dear student here i have taken a test tube my dear student on the white board you will see that in this diagram i have taken a test tube i have filled this test tube with water then my dear student i will take an ice cube and wrap this ice cube in a wire gauge my dear student this is an ice cube which i have wrapped in a wire gauge and my dear student when the ice cube is wrapped in a wire gauge it becomes heavy and what will happen it will sink down at the bottom of the test tube inside the water now my dear student the setup is ready we have taken our test tube we have filled the test tube with water we have taken an ice cube we have wrapped the ice cube with a wire gauge when we wrap the ice cube with a wire gauge it becomes heavy and therefore it sink at the bottom of the water now my dear student we will heat this water carefully observe my dear student here i have shown the place where we are heating the water my dear student we we'll start heating the water on the surface of the water or near the upper end of the test tube now my dear student when we heat water and we have seen that whenever we heat a substance then what will happen the substance will acquire heat the temperature will increase and after some time in the case of water the water will start boiling here also my dear student we see that when we heat the surface of the water or when we heat the top end of a test tube which is having water then after some time the water present at the surface or upper end of the test tube start boiling but if we consider the ice cube here you will find that the ice cube has not melted why this thing happened my dear student when we heat the upper end of the test tube the water in the test tube start heating then it start boiling but if we observe the ice cube the ice cube does not melt or does not melt when the water is heated now from this 
we can draw a conclusion that heat does not flow from the hot end to the cold end and as the heat did not flow from the hot end to the cold end heat did not reach the ice and as the heat did not reach the ice the ice did not melt but my dear student when we consider transfer of heat by conduction we have seen that one end of a substance is heated then there is a flow of heat from the hot end to the cold end and it is called as transfer of heat by a process called as conduction now my dear student here we have taken a test tube we have filled the test tube with water we have taken a ice cube we have wrapped the ice cube in a wire gauge and we have dropped the ice cube in the water which is present in the test tube the ice cube when it is wrapped in a wire gauge becomes heavy it will sink down and it will lie at the bottom of the test tube now here my dear student the upper end of the test tube we are heating the water starts boiling but this ice does not melt the reason behind it is that the heat does not flow from the top end or from the surface of the water to the bottom of the water and due to which the ice does not melt what might be the reason behind it the reason behind it my dear student is that water is bad conductor of heat most of the liquid are bad conductor of heat and here this diagram tells us water is bad conductor of heat but my dear student if water and most of the liquids are bad conductor of heat then does heat flow in liquid this must be the question coming in your mind let's find it by an activity my dear student here again we have taken a test tube we have filled it with water and now we are going to put an ice cube in it this time my dear student we are not going to wrap the ice cube with a wire gauge you know my dear student when we put ice in a water the ice will float so here is a diagram my dear student in this diagram i have taken a stand to this stand my dear student i have put a test tube in this test tube my dear student i have drop ice now this time i have not tried the ice cube with a wire gauge and ice being lighter it will float on the surface of the water in this diagram my dear student you will see a stand and you will see a test tube and you will see an ice cube which is floating on the surface of water now my dear student we will do the same activity but observe carefully in the first diagram we started heating the water from the surface or from the upper end of a test tube now what we will do we will heat the water but we will heat the water from the bottom here my dear student if you will observe the heat is provided to the water which is present in the test tube from bottom now when we provide the heat the temperature will increase and when the temperature will increase we can say that the heat is acquired by water okay and my dear student after some times what happen you will see that the ice which is floating on the surface of the water will melt again if you take a stand and put a test tube to it and pour water in it and then put an ice cube in the water then you will see that the ice cube will float on the water now my dear student here we will start heating the water present in the test tube but we will heat it from the bottom as shown in the figure 
After some times, my dear student, you will observe that the ice cube will start melting. What is the reason behind the melting of the ice cube, my dear student? The reason behind melting of ice cube is that there is transfer of heat from the bottom to the surface of the water. Means the water got heated and there is a transfer of it in the upward direction towards the surface of the water. This heat reached to the ice cube and due to which the ice cube melted. Now my dear student, here we have seen that water is bad conductor of heat. But here, though it is a bad conductor of heat, when water is heated, what happened? The ice melted. Still, we can draw a conclusion that the water has the capacity to transfer the heat. We can say that heat also transferred from hot end to the cold end and this is called as transfer of heat from hot end to cold end by a process called as convection. So my dear student, heat also flows in liquid from the hot end to the cold end by a process called as convection. My dear student, you all know that when any substance is heated, it expands. When the substance is heated, it expands. And when the substance expands, its volume increases. But the mass remains the same. The mass remains the same. Then we can come to the conclusion that mass per unit volume decreases. And when mass per unit volume decreases, then density also decreases. And when the density decreases, the substance become light. One more time my dear student. My dear student, the flow of it also takes place in liquid. And the flow of lead also takes place from the hot end of a liquid to the cold end of the liquid. And it is called as transfer of heat by a process called as convection. My dear student, you also know. One more time my dear student. When we heat a substance, the substance expand. When the substance expand, its volume increases. But its mass remains the same. Now my dear student, here we can say that the mass per unit volume decreases. As the mass per unit volume decreases, the density of a substance also decrease. When the density of a substance decrease, then the substance become light in weight or the substance become light. My dear student, here we are going to consider one more activity. Now my dear student, if you carefully observe the diagram which I have drawn on the whiteboard. Here you will see I have taken a beaker. In this beaker, I have poured water. My dear student, this beaker I have kept on a stand. And I have made an arrangement of a burner to heat the beaker. My dear student, carefully observe here, we are heating the water present in the beaker from the bottom. My dear student, here in the second diagram, we have seen that the ice started melting. We have drawn the conclusion that there is flow of heat 
in water also and this flow of heat is due to a process called as convection and here the heat in water is transferred from the hot end to the cold end due to which the ice melted now this we have seen in this activity but what happened in the process of convection we will try to understand by the next activity the diagram i have drawn on the whiteboard my dear student here i have taken a beaker in this beaker i have poured water i have kept the beaker on the stand and i have made an arrangement to heat the water from the bottom in the beaker as shown in the diagram now my dear student if there is a flow of heat from the hot end to the cold end of a liquid by a process called as convection who carries the heat how does the process take place this we have to find out then to find out this process what i will do in this water i will put potassium permanganate crystal so here my dear student you will see a crystal of potassium permanganate i have put the crystal of potassium permanganate in order to make the water colored then my dear student when we start heating the water you will see that the water present near the crystal of potassium permanganate the water become colored and after that when we start supplying the heat to the bottom where the potassium permanganate crystal is present then the water near the potassium permanganate will start heating means the water near the crystal of potassium permanganate will acquire heat and when they acquire heat its temperature will increase my dear student we have already seen that when we heat water what will happen the density of the water will reduce as the density of the water will reduce the water molecule will become light in weight my dear student if we heat the water near the potassium permanganate as shown in the diagram then the water molecule will acquire the heat energy and when they acquire the heat energy their density will decrease and when their density will decrease they start moving up when the molecule acquire heat their density decrease when their density decrease they become light and they start moving on the surface of the water from the bottom my dear student the colored water will tell you that the molecules of water which has acquired the heat whose density has decreased which have become light will start moving up now my dear student this water molecule which are heated we start vibrating fast and also they become light in weight and therefore they start moving up so here when the heat is supplied to the water molecule the water molecule become hot they acquire the heat they become light due to decrease in the density and they start moving upward the colored water going upward will tell you that hot molecules started moving upward as the molecule has acquired the heat the molecule of water the hot molecules of water will start vibrating fast while going up they will collide with the cold molecule of water and when they collide with the cold molecule of water they will give their vibration to the cold molecule of the water and their vibration will 
reduce and when their vibration will reduce they will lose heat and when they will lose heat what will happen their density will increase and when their density will increase what happen they will become heavy and they will start coming down from the edges of the beaker from this activity my dear student here you will see water is heated the molecules of water acquire the heat when the molecules of water acquire the heat their density will decrease when their density will decrease they will become light when they become light they start moving up the color water moving up tells you that the hot molecule started moving up the molecule acquire the heat so they vibrate fast and they collide with the cold molecule and due to which their vibration becomes slow and when their vibration becomes slow we can say that they have lost the heat which they have acquired when they lose the heat they become heavy and then they start coming down from the edges of the beaker and my dear student if you keep on observing you will see that there is continuous flow of water from the hot end to the cold end then again the water will come down again become hot again will rise up and again cool down and come down here my dear student the water molecule itself has moved from the hot end to the cold end here my dear student we have to keep in mind that there is transfer of heat by water molecule in this process the water molecule itself moves from the hot end and carry the heat to the cold end so there is continuous flow of water from the hot end of water to the cold end and this flow of water is called as convection current so water flows again and again as discussed earlier and this flow of water from the hot end to the cold end again to the hot end again to the cold end is called as convection current my dear student the example we have studied in the starting that i want this pen to reach to the student who is sitting on the last bench and if i hand over this pen to the student who is sitting on the first bench the student will get up from his place he himself will move and give pen to the student who is sitting on the last bench and again come back and sit on his place here the student himself move and give the pen in the same way my dear student here in the process of transfer of heat in liquid the transfer of heat in liquid takes place due to convection current what happen in the convection current there is always flow of water molecule or a liquid molecule from the head hot end to the cold end and the water keeps on moving from the hot end to the cold end water molecule themselves move from the hot end move to the cold end give the heat there and again come back and the moment of water in this way is called as convection current and the flow of heat which takes place with the help of convection current is called as transfer of heat by a process called as convection and my dear student convection of heat takes place in liquid and also in gases let's have brainstorming over the definition which is given in our book and try to develop the understanding convection is a process of transfer of heat my dear student convection is a process which tells us about transfer of heat we have seen heat always flow 
from the hot end to the cold end. Convection is the process of transfer of heat in which the heated molecules, my dear student, in the process of convection of heat, what happened? The molecule get heated. So what is said? Convection is the process of transfer of heat in which the heated molecule of a liquid or gas themselves move to carry it from the hot to the cold region. My dear student, in the process of convection, here we have seen that the molecules of the liquid themselves move from the hot end to the cold end. They themselves move from the hot end to the cold end and carry heat from the hot end to the cold end. Therefore, convection is the process of transfer of heat. Transfer of heat in which the heated molecule, the molecule which are heated of a gas and liquid. My dear student, convection is a process of transfer of heat in which the heated molecule of liquid or gas themselves move to carry the heat. They themselves move to carry the heat from the hot to the cold region. That's all student. This was about transfer of heat by a process called as convection. In the process of transfer of heat by a process called as convection, the molecules of the liquid and the gas themselves move from the hot end to the cold end and carry the heat from the hot end to the cold end. Thank you very much.